Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I clip in and do my hair with clip-in extensions by Irresistible Meme. But real quick, I just want to show you guys these beautiful pieces of jewelry that I'm wearing. I've been so obsessed with this brand. It's called Ana Luisa. And right now I'm wearing their layered necklace. It's super dainty and super cute, like not too much, but it's still like... The cutest thing ever and i actually am obsessed with this ring as well it's super cute because i knew it was gonna fit because it has like this open space right there but it's super cute pieces they have extremely good quality jewelry on their website and their prices start at 39 dollars and it can go up depending on the type of jewelry that you want could do have more high-end pieces as well i chose these because i loved layered necklaces and i just loved how it looked on the website honestly in person they look so much more better like you can definitely see the quality in these and i've actually showered in these a few times and they just look spanking brand new and i love it i'm super obsessed and they're very comfortable they don't irritate my sensitive skin and i just love this necklace so much like i'm super excited to try other pieces you can feel the quality of this jewelry like I love little dainty pieces and I'm just very scared to buy certain types of jewelry just because my skin is super sensitive and I'll start itching and get irritated but the ring no irritation at all and the necklace it's just gorgeous and they do have like earrings and bracelets on their website as well but you do get like premium quality jewelry for reasonable fair price and I'm just obsessed with them. I'm so happy that I was able to try out their jewelry because honestly, on the website, everything looks super, super cute. But once you get it in person, you guys are going to see the quality of these super affordable pieces. And I love how they come in these little pouches because you can take care of your jewelry. You can put it away. If you travel, you can put it in here. And it just keeps everything nice and organized. And I just feel like they do have very good pieces. So if you're into like earrings and dainty little things check out their website i'm gonna put a link down below for you guys so you guys can check them out but if you guys have tried this let me know because i'm so obsessed with this layered necklace like i'll put a picture here somewhere when i wore it the other day it's super cute it just looks good with casual t-shirts or you can like dress it up or if you want you don't have to have it layered you can just wear one piece like the other day i just wore the smaller choker piece and it just looks super cute and simple and this ring is just like the cutest thing ever so if you guys are interested, check out the description box. I put in the link for Ana Luisa Jewelry down below. And if you guys want to see how I clip in my hair extensions, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so my hair is wet. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I cut my hair in January. And it's grown out. Like, a pretty good amount. It's grown out a lot faster than normal, which I really do appreciate because my hair grows pretty slow. I have a few products in front of me, products that I normally put into my hair but when my hair is damp like towel dried i'll use the aveda damage remedy this is a daily hair repair instant visible repair and it protects your hair from the heat so i like to add this guy in my hair really focusing it on the ends it's like a very milky creamy formula i really just focus this product on the ends so that way when I blow out my hair or style it, you don't see a lot of split ends, which makes your hair look more fried and damaged. So I just put a little bit of that in there. And then whatever I have on my hands, I just kind of massage my scalp a little bit. I feel like this really helps um, stimulate your hair roots for a faster growth. So I try to do that in the shower as well. And I've actually been obsessed. If you guys haven't seen my favorites video, I mentioned this hair product. This is by Naughty. This is 97% natural thirst aid uh, conditioning and detangling spray. It smells really good. It's super healthy for your hair and I feel like it helps with detangling. I just like to spray it everywhere. It just smells amazing, but it does help your hair look shiny after you blow out. And then again, I just kind of work it in there. So then I have this comb, which is for wet hair. If you guys like to brush your hair when it's wet, try to get yourself a wet comb. The bristles are a little bit different, and it does not really mess up your hair. It, it's not too bad to brush your hair 
and it won't take out um, your hair if it falls out easily. So they have these at Ulta and it just helps. I just love brushing my hair when it's wet. I know it's not the best thing to do, but we all do it pretty much. And I'm just going to show you guys how it looks when I blow dry it and how the products just make my hair look so much better. Because trust me guys, if I don't do this, like the days that I just wash my hair and I put it up in a ponytail, my hair looks really, really dry. So I only do this when I style my hair, which is about maybe twice a week, maybe three times. But normally I just have my hair up or I'll, I'll braid it like on the sides and do like a low bun. And I'm using the Irresistible Me um, blow dryer, which is super cute and small. It's like really dirty right now because I accidentally sprayed hair products on it. But I'm going to show you guys how I clip in the hair extensions. These have been my all-time favorite hair extensions like ever because the wefts are so thin and i got used to the tape and extensions which i loved but taking them off like i would always try to take them off on my own and it'll kind of like rip out my natural hair if you guys have had tape ins you guys know how that goes i mean i love tape ins because they're so seamless and you wake up and you have like beautiful long hair it is a little bit of a struggle to wash them um, I love to just massage my scalp all the time, so I feel like these are probably the best for me, and I don't mind clipping them in uh, whenever I need to, um, so I fell in love with these. I love how seamless the weft lays on your head. It doesn't feel like you have anything on, and I actually purchased some regular hair extensions not too long ago, like clip-ins, and it's a very popular brand, but I hated them. I just... Couldn't go back to regular wefts, honestly. That's just my preference. Like, I know a lot of people don't mind regular clip-ins. Trying these out, I just can't go back. Like, they're just super seamless. You can even do, like, a ponytail. I did a high ponytail the other day with them on, and they're very lightweight, and I think they're perfect, like, for normal hair. If you have thin hair as well, these are perfect because they don't peek through. I have some areas in my hair where it's a lot thinner the hair is a lot thinner so i can't really wear the regular ones like it peeks through a little bit more so if you guys have really thin hair these are amazing the clips are great the hair quality itself is great super shiny and just super pretty and you guys definitely need to check out these clip-ins if you guys have never tried a clip-ins before i feel like these are great if you have very very thick hair i would suggest the regular ones just because this is, my hair is pretty thick, but I feel like I can get away with these. It does come with more clips, so you can put in more in your hair because it's not bulky. So I don't mind it, but if you have like extremely, extremely thick hair, I would recommend the regular ones. But these are perfect for like normal to thin hair. And I'm just going to blow dry my hair. I'm going to actually part my hair. I'm going to part my hair in half. I'm going to just blow dry the bottom and then blow dry the top. And then we're going to get to clipping these guys in. Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit I finished blow drying my hair it looks like I need a little bit more product in it just like on the ends but instead of adding more like of a heavy product I'm gonna add this guy so I spray this after just because it has like a 
I don't want to say oily or greasy, but it has like a sheen to it. So I don't want to spray it before when my hair is wet because I'm not going to know if I put like too much and then I don't want to have greasy hair. So this kind of just adds a little bit of shine. It smells amazing. It helps with the frizz a little I'm going to clip in the extensions. I actually just, I'm super basic. I just take my scrunchie and, and I'll just part the bottom, like just a tiny bit of hair. And I'll tie it up, and I'm going to show you guys what I do. I just tie it up. Super messy. And then I split these in half. So then I take a smaller comb like this. This one's like super broken, but I do like that it has like double layer. And just for extra hold, I don't use hairspray, but I use dry shampoo so it can... I like to spray a little bit of dry shampoo to the roots instead of hairspray because hairspray is too hard and it's gonna just give you like that nasty hard film and then it just tees each side. So I start off with a two clip weft and the dry shampoo just help it be very sturdy in your hair which I love. I love that. I'm just gonna comb through it. I go back I try to get close to where I put the other clip but just grab a little bit more hair and since it gets wider as we go up we're gonna use a three clip I like to brush it through the extensions before I put it on so same thing I'm going to a little bit of dry shampoo just to the roots And then with the little teasing comb, I'm just going to tease pretty much where I'm going to put in the clips. And in this case, it's three different sections because I have three clips. Then I go back and I like to do the middle part first. So I know it's like right in the middle and then I'll go in clip and clip. And then again, brush through it. I know it might take a little bit of extra time brushing through it right after you put them in but it's gonna help and that's how it should look very flat so we're gonna go from this It looks more voluminous and it's so beautiful. I love it. I just I love it. I love a wand. Like it just does something to your hair. Like it just blends in the extensions so well and it's just super pretty and just put together. And even though I'm not like a professional at this, but not too bad. So the last product I use is by John Frieda. This is the Frizz Ease Secret Weapon. I've used this product before, like the whole thing. They changed the packaging. The actual bottle was a little bit different. I think it was like more silver, kind of like this. But this stuff right here, you guys need to get this in your life. Um, it's so good for frizzy hair. I have like, I pull my hair out. If you guys don't know, I'll put a, a card here somewhere. Hopefully, if you guys want to watch my trichotillomania video of me, my hair pulling disorder, I guess you can call it. I don't know what to call it. But there's people who pull their eyelashes out, eyebrows other body hairs I pull my hair out from my head I know you guys probably wouldn't even think that if you guys are new to this channel or if you are just starting to watch my videos but yeah I do have some bald spots in here and you just can't see it right now um super crazy I just know how to style my hair very well and I'm actually scared to go to like salons because oh not a lot of people know about it but it's kind of hard for me to explain it to a hairstylist why my hair looks the way it does because super crazy but anyways long story short i do have some shorter pieces in my hair that i literally ripped my hair apart so that causes a lot of damage uh the ends of those um sections just totally split like tons of split ends not just in half but it's like tons so this guy really helps just kind of seal in those split ends and i take a small amount and rub it together and then I'll just pass it through my hair, especially up here and in the back because the back is the area where I do a lot of pulling. So if you guys want to 
to learn a little bit more about trichotillomania if you guys never heard of it I would advise you to go watch that video just because it's very informative and it's crazy like how many people go through it it's crazy how many people just you just have no idea that they go through it and it just shows you that we all go through things in life and it's harder for some than others others cope with it differently and we just always have to have peace and love for one another you know we're all human and we all have feelings and we all have emotions and we all go through things in life you know so I just advise you guys to always just show love to people even if you don't know what they're going through even if they're having a bad day just smile like I always smile at random people on the trail when I go running I say good morning to them and sometimes they don't say good morning back sometimes they don't acknowledge you but it's okay you just keep being happy and positive and positive things will happen in your life if you stay positive and if you stay happy even though it's kind of hard to stay positive when you're going through things but you always have to pray you always have to have faith god knows your heart and i have so much faith and love for people um so just stay positive you guys um but yeah this is my hair it looks so much prettier now that it's like extensions and it's a process but i don't have to really do this every single day because I don't who has time to do their hair like all pretty and voluminous every single day but the cool thing is that my hair will actually hold the curl or the wave so then when I come in and put my hair extensions I mean it won't be like as wavy but it will still have like a little bit of volume to the hair extensions so it's just a little trick if you guys don't do your hair every day like me I mean honestly if you see me with my hair like this it's probably just because I did it I filmed the video for you guys but I do like doing my hair now I used to hate doing my hair but it just adds like this little fun part to your routine so that is that is how I clip my extensions if you guys are interested in these specific ones I'll put a link down below for you guys and you guys can check it out if you guys have any questions on like hair extensions or anything like that let me know I'll be glad to answer any questions for you guys or like specific products for this video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys